Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be doing this mini birthday hat. I think it's so cute, it's tiny. It's sort of like um, when you, for Halloween, when you see the Ringmaster and they have like a little hat. So it's gonna be one of those. Um, I have the design space tutorial already, so I had to resize everything. And so this is a Mickey hat, so every all the pieces are here. But what's cool is even though it's really small, it's gonna still have a lot of layers. We're gonna have the buttons. The buttons are two pieces. The top layer is the actual button with little slits. And then we have an outline for behind, and then of course that will show through the slits. It's mine, like small little details, but it's gonna look so good. The other thing is whenever you have little pieces like this, I always like to stack them. And so um, I get a lot of questions because I don't like using foam tape because um, I feel like, especially with these like little pieces, right? Like look how thin my one is. With the foam tape, I feel like you can kind of see it. So what I prefer to use is I like to use my glue gun and I make little spacers with my glue gun and then let it dry and then actually use the glue gun to you know, make it stick. So that's what we're gonna do first. So everything has an outline. The ears have an outline, the buttons have an outline. The one, which is really cool, like I think it always adds a lot is, I like having three layers. Um, I just feel like three layers just looks and feels more expensive and, and you know put together so anyway what we're gonna do is just flip everything over because everything is going to have a layer so if you flip everything over we're gonna create our little um, spacers right now okay so I'm flipping all these over taking my glue gun on this one I'm not going to because I don't know Oh yeah, this one I don't need to because this is actually going behind the hat, so there's no spacer for this. But I do want a spacer for my ears, of course. And then here are my buttons. So this is the back of my button that's gonna be on the hat. There's gonna be a space between that, and then there's gonna be a space for my actual button. Now with the slits, it's gonna make it a little bit difficult to add a space in between. So I'm gonna do top and bottom. Okay. And if you're going to do this, of course, you're gonna need a glue gun that has a, a, a precision tip, so it's not so fat, then it would be the same as your foam stickers <laughs> or your foam tape. Okay. Now on the one, the one is bigger. I could do a bigger glue dot in the middle. Um, what's nice about using the glue gun is that when you press down while it's still um, like wet, like before it sets, you can make sure that it's balanced and then wait till it dries. It's only a few seconds and then it'll dry straight and then you can, you know, you only need one glue dot in the middle. All right, so let's put these two together because I'm sure this is dry by now. Yeah, so with the outline, because it's so even, it's easy to see where it should go. I know it's like really bright with the glitter cardstock, so you, you might not be able to see. So now my glue dots are dry, right? And they're about the same size, I think, as foam tape. And actually, I have foam tape, so give me a second. Let me pull it out and we can see how thick it is. Yeah, I would say it's about the same thickness. Maybe it's a little bit thicker. But you know what I don't like about it is you gotta peel both sides of the tape and then make sure that it's the right size. So I don't know, you might have to convince me, but I'm not a big fan of that. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here or a lot of glue if you want to add like a little bit even more space. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. And this will be balanced, right? Because there's a glue, there's a, glue circle on each side. All right, so that's gonna be good. Um, let's do, okay, her one is good. So I'm gonna flip this one over. I'm gonna do this one first. So here's the one, just make sure you get some glue on there. Okay. And 
you want to just, like I said, kind of put your finger on here so that it dries even, like flat and parallel, you know, like you don't want the one to be tilted this way, right? You want the one to be, oops, sorry, I'm looking at, let's see. So that's going to give you some space, right? Can you see it? And then there's going to be this, and then we have one more layer on top. So it's really going to make your items pop out a little bit more. All right, so this one, I'm going to add some glue. Okay. I'm going to add it on top. And then you just want to clean it up. So I see some glue. Okay. It's so small, but let me turn it over. Do you see like the the width of it? It's sizable and it looks so good. It pops out. I love it. Okay. So that's one thing down. Let's flip over our buttons and then let's do our buttons. So same thing with the buttons. We're going to put the glue on top of the glue dots. And again, this one's gonna be more balanced because it has two pieces of glue. But oh man, that one came out a little bit. I'm gonna have to clean that up. So there's one, and then let's do this one. All right, so that one's good. Let's look at this one. Whoops. Flip it over, make sure it's still even. Okay. This one has a little bit of glue coming out at the bottom. So let's see if we can, oh, <laughs> close up of my forehead. All right, I'm gonna try to push this. I'm gonna try to pick it off. You can barely see it. Okay, so here are my two buttons and the hat or the the ears all right so now we're going to fold this piece together so it has slits maybe you can see it better on this side so it has the little points and then the slits on this side so this is small um so you want to kind of the slits are going to go or the the triangle is going to go on top and into the slits so let's see and i do recommend having you know like good paper for this because this this was difficult for me the first time <laughs> all right let's try to get this in here so you're kind of pushing it in and hopefully with it being glitter cardstock it will let me kind of bend and fold it a little bit so I'm trying to get it in. Oh my gosh, it just all popped out. Let's do the blue one first, <laughs> the bigger one. All right, so here we go. I don't want to bend it too much, but just to get it going. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Now I'm wondering if I should have done regular cardstock. Well, we'll see in a second. Let's see if we can get this going. You know what? I did use, um, now I'm thinking of maybe paper flowers that it would have been easier. Okay, let's see if we can get it in.
luckily we'll have the buttons and then we'll have the top portion to hide any imperfections but oh my gosh it's really not letting me I'm gonna try to roll this a little bit okay I got the bottom three in. Now let's see if I can get the. All right, I got two of them, in, two left. Let's see. All right, one left. Oh, this hat's getting bent. Okay. That might not go, but I think we're okay. So we've got a little hat like this. See, I mean, it's so small. It's like a snow cone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is on this one, I'm going to make sure it stays and I'm going to glue on the inside. Okay. And while it's, um, I'm gluing on all the triangular tips in here. And I'm just going to hold it just to make sure that it stays put. And it doesn't feel like it's moving at all, so I think we'll be fine. All right, so whew. let's see if I can get this one to. Yeah, this material is tough. We're gonna put a little bit of ribbon down at the bottom. I'm not gonna do it on this video because I'm still waiting for the say on which which one. But here's the one. So the one's gonna go somewhere over here like this, and then the ears are gonna go behind. So it's gonna be really cute. Okay, let's give this one a go again. But you know what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a pen and maybe kind of like roll it just to get it kind of like more ready to be folded. All right. And on this one, I'm wondering if maybe we don't even do that but we kind of just fold it and glue it. And let's see if it fits on, oh yeah, so it fits on top like this. Super cute. Okay, so I'm thinking on this one, I'm not gonna fold it in. I'm just gonna glue it. to make it look good. I want to make sure it fits. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is way more difficult than I thought it would be. So, all right, let's see if I can get a few pieces in. And then we'll just glue it. I think that might be our best bet. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna hold it like this. All right, I'm gonna glue it together. I'm gonna hold it right now, because I'm not confident. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it, and then I'm gonna wait for this to dry so I can let go of this part, and then work up here. Okay. I think that's good. I think I really got a good 
grip on it now. I'm like scared to put the glue down inside and for it to go through and go right onto my thumb. All right, so I'm holding it and it's pretty tight, okay. And luckily it's the silver metallic on top, so we're gonna put the ears on here as well, so that's gonna help stabilize it. All right, so let's put this down. So that's gonna look really cute. Okay, and then the buttons, I'm gonna put the buttons strategically where I'm having some issues with the bend. <laughs> okay, so I almost feel like I need, hold on. This has to be in the back because it has all my issues. So, and it didn't even line up perfectly, but that's okay. All right, so this is my back. So here's my front. I'm gonna wanna put the buttons right about here. Okay, kinda in the middle. Um, okay, so let's do the ears. The ears need to be right around there. That looks good, right? Okay, so we're gonna really glue down this thing right here. Don't mind my forehead. <laughs> And make sure that while it's drying that you're holding it in place. Um, because the hat is a cylinder, it you might want to like push on it so that the ears kind of you know come forward a little bit. And then once they're down, we can glue some more and make sure that it's reinforced. Okay, I feel like it's doesn't really want to stick all that well. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more back here. Okay. I think we're good up here, but I'm gonna double check. <laughs> okay, and where you can't see, I'm putting a lot of glue in the back. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. It looks pretty cute. I'm gonna let it dry before we add the buttons and the one. But the one's gonna go right around here. And then the, and then the buttons, so let's see. Okay. All right, so you can see that's, just adding the other two, you're just gonna glue it down. So if you wanna see the pictures, it's gonna be on my Instagram. So it's instagram.com slash the useless crafter. And um, I post almost on a daily basis as well as posting a video on a daily basis, but you'll see more pictures and the outcome of things. So please follow there. And then if you have any questions or feedback, please post it here and let me know. And if you have a special request or a custom order like this, um, let me know as well. I would love to help you out. All right, bye guys.